Happy Friday, Crystal Groovers, Sage of Stones, coming to you with your May new inventory update. Hope you guys are all well. Obviously, I've got a, an eight foot table, absolutely jam packed here with gorgeous new crystals that you've not seen before. This is all brand new stuff. Um, this is going to be a longer video and I'm undecided yet whether this will be one long video or whether I'm gonna break it up. And what you see here is not everything that I've got to show you. So after I record this table, I've got to pull everything off this table and then set up another table. So this stuff represents um, an order of 16 large boxes of crystals that I got a few weeks back. Um, some of you are aware of that order. Uh, some of you may not be, but it was a huge order. So there's a lot of stuff I've got to go through. And as I said, you know, this stuff is just gorgeous. So um, for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. And um, just want to draw your attention, I guess, to the best way to, um, to claim anything or ask any questions. I'm most active on Twitter and my Twitter is at Sage of Stones. You can also get me on Instagram um, and TikTok at, at uh, Sage of Stones as well. Uh, I do have a Facebook business page, which is facebook.com slash Sage of Stones. You've obviously discovered my YouTube channel as well. You can get me on any of those platforms. As I said, I am far and away the most active and the most likely to reply the quickest on Twitter. So take a screenshot of anything that you're interested in, circle it, DM it to me. You can email me at sales at sageofstones.com as well. Um, whatever it takes for you to draw my attention to the pieces that you're interested in. Uh, there are no posts for any of this stuff yet on my Twitter. Um, so if you need more pictures, more videos, information about anything that you see, please let me know and I'd be happy to provide you with that. So what I'll do is sweep you across the table first, give you a close up look at everything um, and then we will go through all of these pieces individually and give you an ultra close up look. So with that said, let's get into it. All right, let's go. So not too much talking in this first section here. I'm really just sweeping you across. I'm hoping that as I say that I can hear the thunder rumbling outside. I'm hoping that I don't lose power. I've got a massive storm that's about to hit here apparently. So hopefully my power stays on and I can complete this video for you guys. As you can see though guys, just beautiful specimens of all different varieties and shapes and sizes here today. And we will get into looking closely at all of this stuff. Huge, beautiful septarian druzy eggs. Don't know if you guys can hear that thunder, but it's rumbling out there. Rain just started. I can hear the rain on my roof. Look at that huge clear quartz tower. I keep having to back up to get it in frame. That's so amazing. I'm going to give you the weights and, uh, you know, information on some of these larger pieces just so you can get an idea of, of the size of them. 
Whoa, look at the flash on that silver stain, black obsidian hot. Crazy. All right, guys, that's your walkthrough. Let's get into looking at some of these pieces individually. All right, guys, here's hoping that my power stays on. There's a huge storm that's rolling in over the top of me. You might hear some thunder during the course of this video, but let's kick it off with these Trollite wings. I've got butterfly wings and angel wings here. Trollite's such a gorgeous stone, guys. It's a, it's a combination of probably, probably my favorite color combination, the, the sky blue, the black, and the white. So these patterns on these wings are just beautiful. So I've got three butterflies and two angel wings. Let me try and pick one up here so I can give you an idea on the size of these, they're big. So beautiful troll light butterfly and angel wings to start off. Um, you know what, we may as well get into these big honking gorgeous pieces at the back here. So I'm going to be referring to a page that I have created that has the weights of all these pieces on it. So this is Apophyllite, guys. These are both Apophyllite. All these pieces here are on custom driftwood stands. These are not molds, they're not plastic. Uh, they're all custom made driftwood stands to accommodate these specific pieces. So I'm not gonna pick these up. Uh, I might pick one of the, the eggs up just to give you an idea for size, but these are way too heavy to finagle with one hand and the other holding the camera. So, uh, as I said, this is a Apophyllite. This piece weighs 11.31 pounds, uh, which is 5,135 grams. So over five kilos. Really beautiful pieces, these. Let me see if I can zoom in and give you a, a closer look at some of the points on this gorgeous Apophyllite. So that's the number one. This is the number two. This is more like a kind of a druzy sort of egg shape. This piece here weighs nine pounds, 3.3 ounces or 4,177 grams. So just under, um, just under or just over four kilos. Zoom in on this one for you as well. Again, just beautiful. This one's got druzy all through it. So all of these points are covered in tiny little crystals. This one doesn't really have it. It has a little bit of that, but this one's got lots of it. And the weights that I'm giving you, by the way, are without the stands. These are, these are just the stones themselves. The stands are not included in the weights that I'm giving you. So now we can move into these amazing septarian druzy eggs. So I'm gonna pick this one up and give you an idea of how big it is. It's huge. These are heavy and gorgeous, spectacular druzy and they have calcite growths on them as well. All those little clear crystals that you see on these are all calcite growths. So again, custom driftwood stands, which are gorgeous themselves. So this is the number one septarian druzy egg and it weighs nine pounds, 4.64 ounces, uh, which equates to 4,215 grams. So again, just over four kilos. This is number two. Again, beautiful calcite growths on this. Lots of calcite on this one. And that one weighs nine pounds, three ounces, or 4,168 grams. And then number three here, I'll pick this one up because this is a little smaller. The first two are roughly the same size. This one's a little smaller, but again, gorgeous, clear calcite growths all over it and spectacular black druzy. So that's the number three, and it's going to weigh four pounds, 3.3 .3 ounces, 
just under two kilograms. So 1,909 grams on number three there. May as well continue across the back here. I've got this beautiful pink amethyst druzy sphere. Just a, an amazing piece. Look at the druzy bugs all over this thing. Pink amethyst is such a gorgeous stone. This is a nice big size sphere. So just one of these and it's sitting on this really nice lotus hand sphere stand, which is also available for sale. This is called Merlinite or uh, it's actually dendritic opal, but the, the trade name is Merlinite. Not to be confused with mystic Merlinite, which is indigo gabbro. This is just Merlinite, again, dendritic opal with some really cool vugs and botryoidal growths in it as well. So just one of those really pretty sphere sitting on this really cool owl sphere stand. I've got my Himalayan salt lamps here. I've got this one that's a big angel. I've got a couple of raw ones and a lantern style. And then we have this beautiful Druzy Amethyst Geode. Really gorgeous purples in this piece. Beautiful piece, that one. So one of those. This is a really neat raw citrine piece. And it's self-standing, so it's kind of a raw piece. It's got that, that raw look about the base of it, but it's a huge singular point and it will stand on its own. And then I've got these beautiful clear quartz towers. So this one here is in is in a wooden stand. And again, this is this is real wood. It's not uh, not a mold or anything like that. It's a nice tall, straight, skinny piece with just incredible clarity. Really beautiful piece, that one. So just one of those in the stand. And then I've got a couple here that are also self-standing, longer, skinnier ones, but these don't have a stand. There's rainbows in these pieces. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to catch it on camera. It's not really showing up on camera, but there are rainbows in those. And then I have this huge honk and clear quartz. So this thing's 16 and a half inches tall and it weighs six pounds, uh, 0.72 ounces, which is 2,740 grams. And just a, 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 the best clear quartz tower I've ever seen. And it comes in a custom driftwood stand as well. Give me a second and I will pull it out and show you how big it is in my hand. So as you can see, guys, this thing is massive. Absolutely huge, singular clear quartz point. I can't even imagine the cluster that this came out of. Like that's, it boggles my mind. This thing is full of rainbows again. I'm not sure how well the camera is gonna pick them up. You can see a few of them there. Rainbows all, all through this piece. And obviously, as you can see, looking through this, beautiful clarity as well. This section in the middle here is gorgeous. So once again, guys, this thing is over six pounds. Just the crystal itself, 16 and a half inches tall. And as are all of these pieces that I've shown you across the back, just amazing. Oh, wow, look at the rainbows there. Amazing statement pieces, absolute showstoppers, these ones, guys. Big rainbows in that one. So just a spectacular clear quartz tower in a custom driftwood stand here. All right, so this is a clear calcite, not clear quartz, clear calcite sphere sitting on one of my color changing LEDs. I'm going to attempt to <laughs> show you how amazing this thing is, but I'm not sure how well it's gonna come across on the camera. Um, let me pull the light down here. This thing is just Rainbow City. It's an unbelievable piece. It's obviously huge. 
and I will give you a weight for this piece in a moment, but the, the, the video is absolutely doing this piece no justice at all. It's full, look at that huge rainbow there. This thing just has rainbows all over it. It's just never ending rainbows. Starlight flash, look at that. Just an incredible piece, guys. Incredible uh, piece. So this would look fantastic on one of my white light LEDs also, but as I mentioned, it's sitting on one of my color changing ones now. Okay, and this clear calcite sphere, guys, weighs seven pounds, 11.28 ounces, or 3,498 grams, so basically four kilograms. Beautiful piece. So moving on, uh, I've got these Cambaba Jasper hearts here, a couple of different sizes. This is the larger size. Gorgeous, big, puffy hearts, both of these. And then this is the smaller one. This is really unique. I've never seen anything like this before. So this is uh, a mosaic of Labradorite chips and there's lots of purple lab in, in, these, in these chips here. Really cool piece. Just one of these I have, really unique guys. Like I said, never seen one of these mosaic types of Labradorite hearts before. Really cool. <laughs> So then I've got these things, which are really awesome. They're all the same size. This is Lava Kite, super blingy, super flashy Lava Kite seahorse carvings. So if you're into your seahorses, guys, this is, these are, uh, are the best seahorse carvings I've ever seen. So I grabbed a few of them. And again, this is super blingy, flashy Lava Kite. So three of those guys. Let's get into some dragon heads here. So this is Nephrite Jade. Really cool Nephrite Jade dragon head carving. This one here is Eupolite. So Eupolite is a UV, UV reactive stone. All those kind of orange brown spots that you see there are going to light up like a Christmas tree under a UV light. They'll flash bright orange. And so to close out the dragon heads, I've got this massive jade dragon head carving here, guys. This is a huge piece. It's hard for me to even finagle it in my hand here. So this one weighs seven pounds, 15.59 ounces. So essentially eight pounds or 3,617 grams. So over three and a half kilos. Just a spectacular dragon head here, guys. If you're into your dragons, this is a statement piece for you. This piece is really cool, pretty unique. I don't often see anything like this before. This is a garnet big cat. I don't know, like, is it a puma? Is it a leopard? Is it a jaguar? Not sure, but it's a cool big cat made out of garnet. So just one of those. I uh, got some new mortar and pestles in. Just as an idea for size, this is how big these ones are. So this is green onyx. And this one's just like a black marble. But really cool mortar and pestles, they always go pretty quickly. This is a really cool piece. I almost never see rainbow fluorite free forms. So I've got one of those and it's going to display its colors way better when you have a light source behind it. Beautiful banding and gorgeous pinks and purples in this piece. So just one of these rainbow fluorite free forms. And then this piece here is just absolutely insane. This is a massive silver sheen black obsidian heart. It's huge and it's just full face in your face flash on both sides. 
The patterning of the flash on this side is just unreal. What a piece. Grab it guys, someone's gonna get this. Make it be you, because I've only got one of those. All right, so sticking with the hearts here. I've got some really gorgeous amethyst specimens with just unreal clarity. Beautiful, beautiful pieces. Three of those available, guys. I've got some little Unikite mini hearts, if I can get them in focus. I got some really cool rutilated quartz pieces to show you here, including these two little hearts. So I'm really having trouble with focus at the moment. You zoom in and you can get a better look. You can see those shards of rutile all throughout those pieces there. And then I've got a bunch of these beautiful fire quartz or hematoid quartz hearts full of rainbows, these ones. Again, if I can keep it in focus. <clears throat> so I've got seven of those to choose from. This is a really pretty ocean jasper heart. Beautiful patterning on that one. So just one of those ocean jaspers. Um, this is green strawberry quartz. So I've got three of these. Really gorgeous greens on those. I've got some sunstone hearts. The sunstone always goes really quickly, guys. So uh, jump in and grab these sunstone hearts if you feel so inclined. Some nice flash on these two. Speaking of nice flash, I've got a selection of these tiger's eye hearts. So these little ones here are just your straight up gold tiger's eye, super blingy, super flashy. The larger ones are all blue tiger's eye. So let's pick one up here at random. You can see the blue in these pieces. So these are all blue tiger's eye, these larger ones. So what have I got? Nine, 10 of the larger ones and five of the smaller tiger's eyes. This is snowflake obsidian. Again, sticking with the hearts. I've got three of these snowflake obsidian hearts. This is a gorgeous smoky quartz piece that's just full of rainbows. Really pretty smoky quartz heart, that one, just one of them. And, oh, I forgot the green moonstone heart here too. This guy's gorgeous. Look at the color of that green there. Beautiful. Start a new video. We'll stick with the hearts for just a moment. Huge, beautiful, flashy Labradorite puffy heart here, guys. Full face flash. Maybe a hint of purple in there as well. And then this is the other side. This side's much more blue. Again, full face flash on this one, guys. Beautiful, big, chunky, Labradorite heart there and then this one's no less gorgeous a little smaller but lots of purple as you can see in this one and again you've got the full face flash and then much more blue on this side just amazing Labradorite hearts these ones here are rainbow obsidian this is sometimes hard to catch the, the colors and the flash on these. This one looks like it's predominantly green on this side. And on the reverse side, much more flash on this side and you've got that circular kind of bluey purple flash as well. So this is the larger of the two pieces that I have. This is the smaller one. This is purple flash on this side. Really, I can see it much, much clearer to my naked eye than I can on the camera. This has got purple flash too, but the camera's not really picking it up. So two of those rainbow obsidian hearts. Let's move into some skulls. Um, so I've got these two bamboo Jasper skulls. I've never seen or never 
stalked bamboo jasper before. I've seen it before, but never, never stalked it. Got two of these skulls here. They're both the same size. They're nice big skulls. So that's the first one. And this is the second one. And then this is a garnet skull here, guys. This is beautiful too. A little smaller than the bamboo jaspers, but I love me some garnet. And I know uh, lots of you out there like the garnet too. So this is a garnet skull. If you're into garnet and you're into skulls, so this might be for you. So this is beautiful. This is a pineapple citrine cluster. Again, in a custom driftwood stand. So this one pops out. That's how big she is. But look at all the points on this thing. It's just teeming with, with points. Pineapple citrine cluster, guys. Just one of those available. Um, sticking with citrine clusters, I'm gonna reach over here and grab this one. This one is not in a stand, but is really cool nonetheless. It's got some gorgeous points and maybe even some Lemurian action. Look at the striations on those points, guys. I don't want to straight up say that this is a Lemurian, but it looks like it could be to me. So this is a beautiful piece as well, and I've just got one of those. All right, where are we at? Let's go to these owls here. This is Caribbean calcite, guys. It's a twin owl carving. Really nice colors soft browns and soft blues with these Caribbean calcite owls. So one of those, I've got a couple of really nice azurite specimens here. My azurite always sells very quickly. So this is the first one, Got some bling happening on that. And then this is number two. Gorgeous colors. Heading back to the labs for just a second. These are really unique. I've never seen anything like this before. So first of all, just amazing blue flash right across the front of this. It's just like a little block. Awesome flash on the back too. It's just a, a little Labradorite block with this skull motif. Looks like he's clawing his way out of the out of the box, you can see his, his fingers there. Reminds me of the Pal Peralta logo. If you're a, an ex-skater or familiar with skateboarding, Powell Peralta is uh, probably the, the most popular brand of skateboards back in the 80s in the day when I was skating. And they have a, a logo that's similar to that. So this is another skull motif here in the Labradorite, but it's like an owl with the wings cradling the skull. If I can keep it in focus for you, let's do that. Let's see if I can get some light on it. This one's got really cool blue flash as well. Look at that. And this is just has a flat black, flat back, but again, has some nice blue flash on the back as well. So a couple of really cool, unique Lab pieces, this is a green fluorite rose carving. So if you like roses, you like fluorite, that's a really pretty piece as well. Uh, this is a nice little skull here. This is just glass, it's not quartz, it's not crystal, just glass, but really nice kind of chromed aurid finish. So one of those. These two pieces here are also glass, not crystal, but obviously beautiful as you can see. Uh, they're gonna hang in your window or somewhere that receives a light. So they're basically a sun catcher. They're gonna disperse the light across your room. So I've got them in larger and smaller sizes there, guys. All right, uh, let's take a look at this sulfur. Sulfur is really cool. So I've got two of these. This is the first one. Look at the points on this thing, just amazing. 
Not to mention the color, like almost a fluorescent yellow. So that's the first sulfur specimen and this is number two. Number two has all these cool botryoidal, they're almost like stalactite growths on them. I often wonder what the, oh, look at all the patterns on that, on that point there. They're almost, almost look like record keepers. Uh, I often wonder where these pieces come from. Like I would like to have seen the environment that they were procured from before they were picked. So I have a couple of these really pretty rainbow fluorite ones here. Again, these are gonna be most spectacular when held up in front of a light source. So that's number one, and this is number two. Again, beautiful banding, gorgeous colors. So two of those. This is a lapidolite leaf-shaped palm stone. Nice little lapidolite specimen there in a unique shape. I've got all these worry stones. I've never stocked worry stones before. Um, I've had a few people ask me about them um, over the course of my crystal selling days and I came across these and thought I'd get them. So these are your traditional shaped worry stones. So if you don't know what a worry stone is, it's just a small kind of palm so stone shaped crystal, but it has this concave in them and it's like a stress reliever. Like you just rub your thumb in it while you hold it. Um, so I've got these two shapes here, these classic oval shapes. I've got one each in rainbow fluoride and unikite. And then I've got a bunch of these heart shaped ones. So same deal, around the same size, got the concave out of them so you can kind of soothe, soothe yourself by rubbing your thumb in them as you hold them. I've got numerous, um, uh, I've got numerous of each kind here. So we've got clear quartz, sodalite, howlite, red agate, green aventurine, black obsidian and amethyst. And as I said, I've gotten numerous of each of those in stock, but only one each of the regular shaped rainbow fluoride and unikite. So I also have a really cool selection of pendants this time around, guys. So these are always the showstoppers, these beautiful, amazing charite pieces. So I've got three of these teardrops, obviously in varying sizes. This is the largest one. And you can see the patterns in these are, are just spectacular. These have a flat back. So I've got three of those. I'll give you a close look at the patterning in them. Video kind of pixelates when I zoom in, but I can't get close enough with just the one time zoom to get you a, a good representation of the patterning. Uh, I have these leaf shaped tiger's eye pendants as well. So these are super blingy and flashy. So one, two, three of those. So I mentioned before, I've got some really cool rutile pieces to show you guys. These are those. So I've got two te um, rutile teardrop pendants. Again, let me put it up to the light here so you can get a good look at those. Lots of rutile going on in these. So this one's a little larger. This one's a little smaller, but still has the really cool rutile shards in it. And then I've got these two, I don't know what, what to call these, like mini palm stones. The shards in these are so much finer than the pendants and the hearts that I showed you, but it's really, really cool. So there's that one. And then there's this one here. This one's a little darker. But lots of rutile in those as well. So some really pretty rutile pieces there, a couple of pendants, a couple of mini palm stones, I guess, and then the hearts as I showed you earlier. So sticking with pendants, um, I've got three kunzite teardrops here. They're all roughly the same size. 
beautiful kunzite specimens, some nice bling and flash on these. This is not drilled, um, would make a great ring. This is a gorgeous piece of ametrine. You can see the orange in that. So it's just a little ametrine teardrop shape. Really, really gorgeous ametrine specimen, that one. And then I have all of these azurite malachite pendants. So I've got 12 of the heart shapes and three of the, the drops. So you zoom in here and give you a close look at these. I'm not gonna turn them all over. I'm gonna pick one up here. So this one, for example, they're not flat on the back. These are like puffy hearts and they have gorgeous patterning on both sides. If you wanna see any of these in more detail, let me know. I'm not gonna turn them all over. This video is gonna be long enough as it is, but some beautiful azurite malachite heart and drop pendants. I've got some really cool uh, ammonites here as well. So this is a larger one. It's got a little bit of flash on it, that one. Beautiful patterns. And then these two smaller ones are covered in the, the red and multicolored flash as well. And they're about this size. This piece is really nice here, guys. This is a garden quartz point. So it's got that tapered shape. There's probably rainbows in this, but I'm probably not gonna be able to pick it up, but hang on a second. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Really nice garden quartz, this one, guys. Put it up to a light here. So just one of those. And then I've got a bunch of these gorgeous ametrine points and a couple of double terminated points as well. So these are all ametrine guys. I'll pick one of the larger ones up just for size. And again, these have beautiful clarity in them too. And you can see the orange in, in there. So for those of you that don't know, um, ametrine is basically um, amethyst that is heated by the earth during its formation and the orange is actually citrine. So it's really a combination piece of amethyst and citrine. So I've got five of the larger ones and then I've got four of the smaller ones and they're all about that size. You can see there's lots of bling and flash in these as well. And then I've got these two Ametrine double terminated points as well. These are really cute little black obsidian ravens, guys. So if you like your ravens, if you like your black obsidian, you might like those. Uh, I got some new bracelets in, uh, some that I have not had in before. This is phosphosiderite, it's a bangle. So really cool piece, that one, just one of those phosphosiderite bangles. I've got the phosphosiderite bracelets as well, the beaded bracelets. These are chrysocolla bracelets. These are dendritic opal or merlinite, so just like the sphere I showed you earlier. Really cool. And then uh, these are verisite bracelets, just two of those. Moving into some pyramids, I've got some super flashy tiger's eye pyramids. They're about this size. All the pyramids that I'm showing you here are all around the same size. This one's citrine and you can see it's got lots of bling. Probably some rainbow action in that one. Yes, I can see it, but I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up. So citrine, these two are Caribbean calcite, and then this one is bloodstone. These are really cool anks. So I've got five clear quartz. I've got one ruby zoisite. I've got two, sorry, did I say rose quartz or clear quartz? These are rose quartz. If I said clear quartz, uh, they are actually rose quartz. Ruby zoisite, these two are clear quartz. These two here, whoops, are amethyst. I've got one 
silver sheen black obsidian. This one's just a regular black obsidian. And then I've got one yellow fluorite. So really cool angst, guys. This is another really cool apophyllite piece here. Again, a nice chunky size on this one, free freestanding. This one's just total druzy, druzy carpet over all of these apophyllite pieces here, guys. Beautiful, beautiful specimen. And then this is really unique. I never see anything like this before, so I grabbed it. This is a Septarian freeform with all kinds of gorgeous calcite druzy through it. Really nice patterning on that one too. Really unique piece. Um, this is Chrysocolla and it won't, won't last. These pieces go immediately every time I get them in. So gorgeous raw Chris Kohler specimens here. You can see the malachite running through it. Gorgeous patterns. Just one of these guys, Chris Kohler. This is a really cool pyrite cube. So I just have one of those. Jumping back into the Rainbow Obsidian, I've got these Rainbow Obsidian Palm Stones. So these are flashier than the hearts that I showed you earlier. So this is green here, green and blue on this side. This one's got some really cool patterning on it. Purples, just those rings, really nice. Happening on this side. Sometimes it's hard to, to catch them in the right light. Yeah, I don't see a whole lot going on on the reverse side of this one. There is a little bit, but definitely nothing that compares to what's happening on the front here. This is the next one. Strong purple flash on this one, a little bit of green as well. Got the ring action again on this one. This one's even got some orange and, and yellow running through it, really cool. This is the next one. Again, strong green flash on this side. Looks like some blue and maybe a hint of purple on that side. <laughs> Rainbow obsidian, so cool. Just even the way it's formed is really, really awesome. So some more ring action on that one. Only problem with the rainbow obsidian is that it really shows my finger, <laughs> my fingerprints on it. All right, so I've got those five rainbow obsidian palm stones, guys. Really beautiful pieces. And sticking with palm stones, I've got some beautiful yellow fluorite specimens here with some amazing banding. They're all roughly this size. So give you a closer look at those. Some have the, most of them have the, the vertical banding. That one's got the horizontal banding. This is a really nice ocean jasper piece with some gorgeous patterns and, uh, and some really nice banding on that one. I love the end of this. So there's that one. This is another Ocean Jasper piece, much, much different. Ocean Jasper is so diverse in terms of what it looks like. One, one piece to the next looks completely different. So you zoom in and give you a closer look at the patterning on this. This is really cool. So those two Ocean Jasper pieces, these were really popular. I sold out of these, so I got some more of these in. This is Honeycomb Ruby. So this will fluoresce under a black light. Anything that's got ruby in it, ruby is a UV reactive stone. So these will really pop under a black light or a UV light. So I've got five of those. And then I've got these really gorgeous rainbow fluorite rose carvings. So 
put these up to the light. Really nice rainbow fluorite specimens. So that's number one. This is number two. Awesome banding. And number three is a tad smaller, but none, no less beautiful. So three of those rainbow fluorite rose carvings. And back to pendants for just a moment. Got some really pretty abalone turtles and dragonflies. So just as an idea for the size, that's the turtle. And this is one of the dragonflies. Gorgeous, blingy, flashy abalone pendants there, guys. These are really cool lightning bolts. I love me some lightning bolts. I've got one tattooed all the way up and down my lower leg. Um, always love lightning bolts. So I have a number of each of these. I'm just, I've just got one of each out to show you, but this is, uh, I've only got the one bloodstone. Uh, the others I do have multiples of. So I've got bloodstone. This is opalite. That's clear quartz. That's amethyst. That's super blingy, super flashy blue sandstone. And that is rose quartz. So some really cool lightning bolt pendants as well. These are gorgeous stibnite specimens. So the shards on these are really cool. They flash their ass off. Beautiful specimens here. One's a little larger than the other. This is the larger one. I'll pick it up and just show you for size. So two amazing stibnite specimens. This one is cool. This is Sage's Stones. This is one of my very own personally tumbled stones. So this was a uh, just a raw chunk of sodalite and it spent a number of weeks in my various tumblers to get to this beautiful, highly polished stage here. So this is a sodalite palm stone that was tumbled by me. And I've got a lot more uh, stones coming that I've tumbled that will be for sale as well. So one of those got some really cool little adjustable rings here. So this is black tourmaline and citrine and clear quartz. I've got two of each. And as I said, these rings are fully adjustable. And then I've got these beautiful garnet beads. These are the 12.5 millimeter beads as opposed to these, which are, which are the eight millimeters. Really nice garnet bracelets here, guys. And I'm not sure if I can, yeah, there's too much light. They, they do have a little bit of transparency. Like you, you can see the red when you hold them up to a light source, but that's not going to pick it up on camera. But I've got three of those garnets, uh, garnet bracelets. This is a gorgeous butterfly. It's predominantly blue fluorite. Really pretty. Amazing banding. Like, look at how gorgeous that is. So if you love your butterflies, guys, you might like that one. If you love your dragonflies, you might like this one. This is a really cool dragonfly. It has black obsidian and citrine chips that make up its, its wings. And she's about that size. We are almost home. Well, for this table at least. Uh, so this is another gorgeous apophyllite specimen, guys. Nice, big, chunky piece, this one as well. Beautiful apophyllite. Apophyllite is one of my probably top five must-have crystals. Um, if, if, if you're new to crystals or just not so knowledgeable on the properties of them, please hit me up. I have created crystal information sheets for almost every type of crystal that I sell. Um, so I can send you those crystal information sheets. Look at the rainbows on that. Beautiful. Um, I can send you those crystal information sheets. There's a wealth of information on all the properties of 
the crystals that uh, that you see me sell. So that's the Apophyllite. This is um, Spellerite in a custom driftwood stand once again. But this Spellerite is coated with the most gorgeous, tiny, divine little clear quartz points. Look at that, guys. That's just unreal. It blows my mind that Mother Nature can do this. Let's see if I can zoom in even further. Look at the, all those tiny little needle-like clear quartz points all over this. What a spectacular piece. So Sphelerite coated with tiny clear quartz needle points in a custom driftwood stand. This is really unique. I've never seen a piece like this before. So this is a Druzy Septarian heart. Again, it has the clear calcite growths on it. But what's really unique about this piece is that it's got this dragon carved into it. So that's the dragon's head and pick it up. So there's his head and then the body kind of goes down and then that would be the tail there. So really nice septarian heart with spectacular clear calcite and black druzy with a dragon motif carved into it and that's the backside. So just one of those guys, never seen anything like that before, so I grabbed it. All right, moving on, I've got these two amazing ammonite specimens. These are sold together as a pair. It's one ammonite that's been sliced down the middle, All right? So it is, they, both of them are from the same, the same animal. And this is just beautiful. Gorgeous little druzy pockets in this too. That looks like it's, God, it looks like it might be pyrite, but it's got this red tinge to it. Really, really fascinating. Never seen that before. So that's the front side. This is the back side and it's covered with this iridescent flash. So that's one of the two. And then this is the other matching half. And these will come on a, on one of these stands here. All of these slabs that I'm about to show you guys, in fact, will all come on one of these little black stands. So I've got a couple of different, really amazing rainbow fluorite slabs to show you. A couple of different types, at least. There's what, one, two, three, four, six in total. So these are your, your standard, really highly banded rainbow fluorite slabs. These are probably my favorite. I just love the, the detail and the banding in these pieces. So that's the smaller of the two and this is the larger of the two. Look at that, that's freaking amazing. These rainbow fluorite slabs are one of my favorite stones, period. They're so awesome. They look spectacular with the light source behind them. So I've got two in that style and then I've got four in this snowflake fluorite style. So by snowflake, I mean this kind of stuff going on in it. And I believe that's scolocyte. So rainbow fluorite with scolocyte inclusion. So this is number one and these are covered in rainbows too. Check this out. Beautiful. And again, unreal banding. This has got a nice uh, blue band as well. The blue fluorite's the rarest of all the colors. So a nice blue band running through that piece. And then this is number two. Heaps of blue in this one. God, these are gorgeous, guys. You need to grab these. These are absolutely spectacular rainbow from the right slabs. This is number three. And again, heaps of blue. Jagged purple band running through that one. So that was number three, whoops. And then this is number four. And again, lots of blue, purple. Awesome pieces, rainbow fluorite guys. Grab it, cause it's spectacular. This is the one you just heard fall over, but he's fine. 
He is a really, really cool fire quartz or hematoid quartz Native American chief carving. So you can see his head there and the, the feathered headdress. Really amazing piece, that one. So just one of those. This is really cool. This is a little howlite cobra carving. Really nice howlite specimen carved into a cobra. Great detail, just one of those. I've got three of these beautiful little rhodochrosite towers, guys. Amazing patterns in those. They're pretty tiny. Pick one up here and show you. So that's number one. This is number two. This one's got pyrite in it. Look at that. Wow. And then number three. Beautiful rhodochrosite, guys. I've got a couple of really cool, unique black obsidian specimens here. This is like a wand with like a star motif on it. Really nice size. So black obsidian wand. And then I've just got one of these black obsidian daggers. These are not sharp at all. Totally rounded on the blade, but they're just like ornamental. They're not functional, but really cool black obsidian dagger. All right, I forgot to show you this malachite bracelet. This is a little malachite cuff bracelet. So much more dainty than the other cuff bracelets that I stock. These are much smaller chunks of malachite. So perfect for any of you ladies with the, with the smaller wrists. These are, uh, it's, it's on a stretchy cord. So just one of these really pretty malachite cuff bracelets guys couple more slabs to show you here. So this is fishtail selenite. This is a nice chunky piece of selenite here. Really great transparency. Fishtail selenite. And if you're not aware, selenite is a stone that will charge all of your other stones. You can place any stone on a slab of selenite and it will charge and cleanse it for you. This is a really cool carnelian slab. Gorgeous patterns on this piece, on both sides. And then this is gonna have some really nice transparency to it. Those reds, when you put a light source behind it, are awesome. Look at this little pocket down here in the bottom right corner. That's really cool. And then this is the other side. Wow, that's such a great looking piece. So just one of those carnelian slabs. And then to close it out, guys, I've got these three resin dragons. These are not crystal, this is resin. And they are luminous, they glow in the dark. So they're all this size. I will shut the lights off here in a second and see if they've picked up enough light to be glowing. But I've got one in green, one in blue, and one in purple. Yeah, wow, look at these. So these are the dragons. I've got the light shut out here. Really cool. Super glowy, super luminous. Resin dragons, guys, in green, blue, and purple. Okay, guys, so in the words of the late, great Jim Morrison, this is the end of this table, at least. <laughs> um, I'm gonna have to pull this table down and set it up with the other stuff from this order that you haven't seen yet. That's gonna be a tomorrow project. I don't see myself doing that today. I've gotta to edit this video and get this video uploaded for you guys tonight. So look out for a part two tomorrow that will have the rest of this order. Uh, but for now, I'll give you another quick sweep across the table. Again, now that you've, you've seen everything, You may have 
you may have seen something that you want to claim so this is an opportunity now for you to screenshot anything that you've now seen that you would like to claim or ask questions about once again the best thing to do is to screenshot the video circle the piece or the pieces that you're interested in and send them to me through one of my social media channels twitter is the place that I will be most likely to respond the fastest, but you can get me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, or Facebook. You can email me. Pick your poison guys, but just get those pictures to me. Once I post these videos, the pieces on these tables start selling fast. So don't hesitate because it breaks my heart when people come to me and they're like, hey, is this piece still available? And I tell them no, and they're like, oh my gosh, I was going to message you about it, and I didn't, and now it's gone. I've done that plenty of times in my crystal collecting history as well, and it's a bummer when that happens. So don't let it happen to you guys. If you see something you like, reach out and let me know immediately and claim it before someone else grabs it out from under you. So as always guys, I'm super grateful for your help, uh, for your help, for your support. And uh, I guess that's a kind of help, isn't it? So for your support and your friendship and, and just your interaction with, with, my, with my content and, and with my business, I love you guys so much. Let me know what needs to come home to you. I'm shipping out again on Monday, so uh, you could have your crystals next week. Have a great rest of your weekend, guys. And again, look out for part two of this order. Another video coming to you tomorrow. Cheers.